what is up you guys i am back with another video uh, this is my iphone 12 pro unboxing and first impressions video um this is how i got it in the mail yes uh i haven't even taken it out i got it like two three days ago let's go ahead and open her up real quick so it did take about two weeks to get here um it did say it was going to be about a month so when i did get it i was a little surprised a little happy um that on the side handy box opener and let's see what she looks like inside wow and that is pretty good packaging i guess you can say there's really no uh protection no peanuts or nothing like that it's just a full box huh okay so make it formal let's go ahead and okay Wow, this is what it looks like, you guys. Not bad. Looks pretty nice. Just your standard Apple uh, packaging, I guess you can say. Now, it is a lot thinner than your standard Apple box because they do not include the charging brick and earphones. So, keep that in mind when you get this. You're going to have to get your own charging brick, and I'll show you guys why. Open it up. Okay, voila, so this is how it looks, let's go ahead and take it out, let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit for you guys, okay, here it is, here's a little tab, and right off the back it does feel really nice, it feels really premium. I like this matte texture on the back. Uh, here's the stainless steel. One thing that I have read a lot is that it is a fingerprint magnet. So let me see, test it out real quick. Uh, somewhat, my hands are pretty clean. I just washed them, so that's probably it. It is a pretty nice looking phone, I'm not gonna lie. Comparing it to my iPhone XS, it is about the same size, but this one does feel a little bit bigger because of the square edges so this one does feel a little bigger just because of the square or the uh, the block edges with the rectangle edges um, this one just feels a little smaller and thinner more premium on we would expect right okay so let's go ahead and boot her up and here you have your type C to lightning uh, which is Everyone is starting to adapt to this. I'll show you guys. I'll be back and I'll show you guys a little bit more about this. But this is growing tremendously. Apple's the only one that hasn't implemented this, I believe. And then let's see what we have in here. Okay, so we have your SIM eject tool. Okay. Your Apple warranties and stuff like that, I'm assuming. Safety handling, small stuff like that, and boring stuff. And then you do have an Apple sticker. I believe this, this is like my fifth one. No, probably my third one from the iPods that I've had. And this is actually my first iPhone I've bought in new. All my other iPhones I've actually bought in second-handed. I've never actually bought a new iPhone. So my first iPhone unboxing is with you guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and set this up. Um, the cameras actually look a lot better on this one. I never was really a big fan of this camera. As you can see, mine is cracked right there. I can always fix that. Um, but yeah, it's just, it feels a lot smoother. So that's about it, honestly, you guys. There's really nothing to it other than, uh, it's just a new iPhone. So I'm not really sure where I stand with Apple removing the charging brick. Um, they say it's for, to make the environment greener, to cut back on e-waste, and I'm all for that. Like, But when they say that we have other chargers at home, or when people say that, the issue with that is that all these new cables are Type-C when we have a USB-A outlet this is your apple one it's pretty old sorry if it looks messy but um i don't even, even use this one this one has been in the drawer for a while but you can't connect this to this that's the issue with that so 85 percent sure that the ones that you have in your drawer are at home are usb type a um unless you had a samsung before you probably have a usb type c this one's by anchor um i highly recommend this brand if you ever need charging cables charging bricks or anything like that 
hit them up because they are incredible. Um, but um, yeah, so that makes you have to go spend an extra 20 on this right here so you can charge your device. Maybe an extra $10, maybe 30 bucks at Best Buy because you're not going to wait 2-3 days so you can get one on Amazon for $10 cheaper. So you're going to be stuck buying it retail uh, instead of online. So now you have to buy this purchase, you have to make this purchase so you can charge your phone, which is an extra $20. And honestly, when you spend over $1,000 on a phone, you sort of want those extra add-ons because you've already paid so much for the device. Why? Like, this is the issue I have is, so when you pay that much money for a phone, you sort of want all those extra add-ons thrown in there already because you don't want to make those extra purchases because you already paid so much for a phone. So when you tell me that you can include a charging brick or at least a pair of earphones, like, come on, Alec. <laughs> it, it sort of makes it hard, harder and harder to justify the purchase. I just made this purchase because I'm gonna have it for about two, three years and I had the extra money this year. So I decided to might as well just buy it. But that's the issue that comes, that's, that's sort of where I stand with it. It's sort of, 50 50 with it i'm more on the greener side than the than really like worrying about paying that much um so i am sort of for it a little bit but at the same I, I do get why people are getting upset because that is a huge purchase with little extras and i see where that could bug people but i mean that's sort of where i stand with it but other than that honestly this phone looks really nice i don't have any complaints about it yet uh, but yeah, so this is how she looks. This is how my iPhone XS looks right here on this one, on this side. Almost identical, probably more screen, honestly. Yep. It looks like it's small screen. Smaller notch for sure. It looks like it, not sure. But yeah, XS 12 Pro. And I mean, there's really no big difference, honestly. So I'm not going to go into details with you guys because I don't plan on doing that on this channel. Just quick reviews, quick stuff. I'm going to go out and use these for a few days and then I'll get back to you guys. See what my, see which one I like better. But theoretically, this one should be a lot better in terms of video. So yeah, I'll be back.